what does science have to do with understanding churn and max capacity inside of gyms? What's really interesting is that what we have found is that a lot of gyms really struggle to grow past 100 to 150 members. But why is that? And what does science have to do with that? And so what we found is that this correlates to what is known as the Dunbar number. If you're unfamiliar with what the Dunbar number is, let me give you a quick background. The Dunbar number comes from a British anthropologist in the 1990s called Robin Dunbar. In the 1990s, they extrapolated that based on the cognitive ability of a primate, they could have a limitation of the number of social interactions that they could have. What I mean is like ultimately social relationships. And what that means is they have the ability to maintain and remember people's names, remember certain aspects about those people, and be able to maintain a relative relationship and friendly with those individuals without forgetting them. And that number averages out to roughly 150 for humans. So what does this have to do with running your gym and keeping churn down? Well, coincidentally, what we found is that most gyms can hit that 150 mark and then they really struggle to maintain low churn. Because once they get to that 100 to 150 mark, things start to kind of crumble. A gym owner begins to forget other people that are there. People get to slip through the cracks and all of a sudden clients aren't getting the same attention that they did when you had less people. Which is why as a gym owner, if you have less than 100 and you're like, my churn is great, my community is amazing, no one ever leaves my gym. That's because the Dunbar number is still in effect because you haven't reached the upper limit of your ability to remember everyone's name and the ability to understand more about their life and create a more meaningful relationship. But as soon as you get above 100, all of a sudden, now it becomes that much harder. And so how do you scale your system to be able to meet and exceed the Dunbar number? Knowing this, it's really important because you can start to foresee in the future what's going to happen. So if you're currently at 50 members, you know that you've basically got what is known as like a clan in a sense. You've got a clan of 50 people. It's very easy to remember all their names. You can remember all their kids. You can remember what they do. But as soon as you start to get to that 100 person mark, now all of a sudden it's a lot harder to remember everyone's name, remember all their kids, remember what sports their kids play, remember what hobbies that they have, their job, what they do on a daily basis. All these different things come into effect. So how do you scale this? Well, this is where you put systems in place for your team where you make a repeatable process and experience for your clients. Simple things like adding in a new new client questionnaire where you find out all the different things about themselves, their family, their likes, their dislikes, their hobbies, their favorite coffee shop, their favorite local restaurant, all these things. And you have one database where you can go to for all of your clients and understand exactly what they like. What do they like? What do they dislike? And your entire team can have access to this. But it's really important to understand that as you grow and you scale, you have to be able to scale the experience. And the experience can't just be about you. It has to be about a process, not a person. So that ultimately, as people come and go within your organization, the process remains the same and you can plug new people into this process and they can be successful because you have it set up correctly. And so thinking about the Dunbar number, now it makes sense why if you hit that ceiling of 150 people, why it's really, really hard to get past that number and scale to 200, 250, 400. So when you're thinking about it and how can we use this? Well, let's remember the science and let's start preparing a system and put it in place so that we can scale the experience for our gym members. And so here at Gym Launch, that is all we focus on because we understand that if we blow the doors off a gym, which is what we do, we fill gyms to max capacity very, very quickly. We know that the systems are going to break. So we focus on making sure that the client experience is exceptional in the first 90 days and beyond. And that's all built around a consistent process that really anyone can do. And you just need to get the right people in. And then all of a sudden, scaling becomes really, really easy. And your churn still stays really, really low, even as you begin to scale faster and faster and faster. And so this is how we can use science to help us be able to establish the right processes inside of our gym to be able to scale. Now, if you like this type of information, you find it valuable, I always appreciate and never take for granted your time and attention. Your time and attention is the most valuable thing that you have. So I want to thank you for that. If you like this and you want to learn more about what we do here at Gym Launch, feel free to subscribe to the channel, watch more of our videos. I hope you find a lot of value from it. For those of you that want to take it a step further and you would like to learn more about how we can actually help you as a gym owner scale faster and be able to move past that 100, 150 person mark inside of your facility and ultimately build a million dollar gym, there's a link down below. You can book a call with us and we would love to see number one, if we can help you number two, if we can, what the next exact plan should be to help you scale. So either way though, thank you so much for consuming this content. I hope you find it valuable. Drop a comment down below if you did and let me know what you'd like to hear next.